Hello everyone. Today we have a grammar. It's about prepositions of time. At, in, on. We use at for a precise time. We use in for months, years, centuries and long periods. We use on for dates and dates. Let's have examples. We can say at 3 o'clock, at 10.30 a.m., at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment. What about N? We can say in May, in summer, in the summer, in 1990, in the 1990s, in the next century. In the ice age, in the past, in the future. What about on? We can say on Sunday, on Tuesdays, on the 6th of March, on the 25th of December 2010, on the Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday. On New Year's Eve. Example. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. The shop closes at midnight. John went home at lunchtime. In England, it often snows in December. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future? There should be a lot of progress in the next century. Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday is on 20 November. Where will you be on New Year's Day? Notice the use of the preposition of time at in the following standard expressions. The expression at night, example, the stars shine at night. At the weekend, I don't usually work at the weekend. At Christmas or Easter, I stay with my family at Christmas. At the same time, we finished the test at the same time. At present, he's not at home at present. Try later. Note that in some varieties of English, people say on the weekend and on Christmas. Notice the use of the prepositions of time in and on in these common expressions. In the morning, on Tuesday morning, in the mornings, on Saturday mornings, in the afternoon, on Sunday afternoon, in the evening, on Monday evening. When we say last, next, every, this, we do not also use at, in, on. Let's have examples. I went to London last John, not in last John. He's coming back next Tuesday, not on next Tuesday. I go home every Easter, not at every Easter. We will call you this evening, not in this evening.